Hey everybody, welcome to the middle of nowhere. It's been a while. It's a cold winter's day. Looks like we just got a fresh little dusting of snow. And so I have two choices. I can not enjoy this and shovel the driveway. Although Baron Von Cuddlesworth III over there, he enjoys the snow. Or I can make a video and enjoy my coffee. I think I'm going to do the latter. So why don't you come on inside where it's a little bit warmer and let's get going. Oh, it's much warmer in here and much better. All right, so today we're going to replace the hard drive in the PlayStation 4. Most of the PlayStation 4s uh, came with a standard 500 gigabyte hard drive, and that's just not enough, especially if you're an avid gamer. Replacing the hard drive in your PlayStation 4 is a relatively easy process, but you are gonna need some supplies first. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. I got two here, two different heads, just in case. Of course, you need your PlayStation 4. You will need a USB thumb drive at a minimum of one gigabyte. I would go for two gigs on your thumb drive. Uh, you can get those really cheap. I'll put a link in the description to some. Uh, you will need a backup hard drive, at least the size, obviously, of the hard drive that's in the PlayStation 4. So, honestly, though, I'd go a little bit bigger. I'd go anywhere for, uh, I probably would recommend going the size of the hard drive you're replacing. That way, if you, again, in the future, want to get a bigger hard drive, you will be able to back up the replacement hard drive with your USB drive. And then, of course, you're going to need your... Uh, uh, replacement hard drive. So I got here a two terabyte fire CUDA drive from Seagate. It is a hybrid drive with SSD and it is I believe 5400 RPMs. In my research finding a 7200 RPM laptop hard drive uh, the prices right now are just insane. SSDs are also just out of the question in terms of higher capacity uh, unless you want to spend that money. I think for this I spent maybe a hundred and sixty odd dollars. I can't really remember. Again, I'll put a link in the uh, description of the video to be certain. First things first, we are going to download and install the update software, system software, into our thumb drive. We're going to format our backup hard drive so that we can make a backup on the PlayStation. And then I'm going to show you that how to backup the PlayStation to this hard drive and how to install the hard drive into the PlayStation and all the other good stuff. Once you get to your computer, you're going to go to the PlayStation.com support site. I'll provide the link uh, to find the downloads all you need in the description below. That way you don't have to do any searching. Uh, once you get to the page, you're going to see this download update link. You are not going to click on that because that just takes you to or downloads a smaller system update and we want the full system software update. Instead, click on the link. Do you want to perform a fresh install of the full system software below it? It will take you further down the page and then you'll have a set of instructions and you'll see this download now uh, link. Go ahead and click that, save it to your download folder. While the system software is downloading, we're going to go to our thumb drive and we're going to create two folders, one inside the other. And I've already done this just for experience sake. So the first folder you're going to create is the PS4 folder. Make sure that the P and S are capitals. Within that you're going to create an update folder, again all capitals on the update. Once the software has downloaded fully, just copy and paste it or drag it, whatever you prefer, to the update folder. And as you can see here, it's about 932 uh, megabytes. So if you download something that's like 300 or 500 or whatever, that's the wrong one. You want to make sure it's 900 plus. Once that is done, you can now focus on your external backup drive that you're going to use to backup your PlayStation 4 data to. So we'll go to that. Now with this, uh, you're going to plug in your backup drive. Um, now off the hop, so here's the easy store one, off the hop, more than likely it's going to be uh, formatted as an NTFS drive. PlayStation 4 cannot read NTFS. It can only read FAT32 or XFAT. So in order to format your hard drive, you're going to open up the disk management software, as, as you see I've done here. You're going to then right click on your hard drive and hit click select format and you're going to choose XFAT or FAT32. I only have the option between NTFS and XFAT. Uh, you can leave default, quick format, it's fine. They'll say, are you sure you want to do this? You'll end up erasing all the data. 
and of course I'll say yes because it's on a new hard drive there's nothing on there and boom it's XFAT simple as that three steps so now that we have the backup hard drive formatted let's go ahead and take it to the PlayStation 4 and back that up and so one of the first things you're going to do when you turn on your PlayStation and you have your uh, external hard drive plugged into it is let's back up our trophies. So that will be backed up to the PlayStation Network and not to your actual hard drive. So go to your trophies, click options, and just sync it with the PlayStation Network. This is only if you care about trophies. If you don't, so be it. After you've synced your trophies, go ahead and go to settings, scroll down to system and then find backup and restore. You're gonna back up your PS4. You're gonna make sure you allow everything to back up. Select next, select backup. Your PlayStation will gather everything to prepare. It's gonna restart and then it will commence backing up and it'll give you a rough time frame of how long it's gonna take. Um, depending on how much information you have on your hard drive, it can take several hours. The PlayStation 4 is now rebooted and it's going to tabulate how long it's going to take and it looks like we're going to be in for about three hours, but I honestly don't think it will take that long. You know, once the backup is complete, uh, the PS4 will restart and all you got to do really is to get that going is hit OK. And now we'll restart. And then you'll be able to um, remove your external hard drive and also then shut it off and we can get started on replacing that hard drive. All right, so we've backed up the hard drive. We've installed the software onto the thumb drive. Now it's time to change out the actual physical drive on the PlayStation 4. And for the most part, you only need one tool. The nice plastic covers here will just slide off. All you gotta do is kind of push down and slide it. Right here is where the hard drive is. You have one screw holding that in. It's a pretty nifty little PlayStation. Uh, I think I might need a nice small screw. Oh, I do. Well, hold on then. I'll get a smaller screw. There we go. I'll show you what the screw looks like. It's pretty cool. So we'll kind of just get this in focus. It's pretty cool. So you got the little PlayStation button symbols on there. All right, so you take that off. And then you just slide out the hard drive. And you will have four screws on the other side. Looks like the same size. So really you just need a small Phillips head screwdriver. So you take this off. Be sure to not lose your screws. Maybe a magnetic tray or just a bowl. That's the last thing you want. So just gonna slide that hard drive out. Take a new hard drive, slide it in, and reverse. So that is done. Easy peasy. Slide it back in. You line up with the hole here. Again. Ah. Tighten up the PlayStation. Screw back in. There you go. So now we have the old hard drive and it is, you know, it still works. It's still good. You can actually probably keep this and buy a cheap enclosure for it. So last step is to 
uh, plug the spec in and essentially install and restore the software. So let's do that. All right, now that we have the PlayStation plugged back in, we have plugged in the thumb drive. We have plugged in the uh, controller through the USB. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on the PlayStation 4, you're gonna hold the button for seven seconds till you hear the second beep. Beep. Let go. Alright, so we have the PlayStation 4 on. Uh, make sure your controller is plugged in through the USB cable. After you hit the PlayStation button, we have the initialized PS4 reinstall system software. Enter. You want to go with yes. Now it's initializing. So originally my thumb drive was formatted to FAT32. I just switched it to uh, XFAT. Um, so if you have an issue with your thumb drive not working, um, check the format uh, and try putting in XFAT and then redoing the folders and, and uh, the update. So this seems to be working. Once the new uh, operating system has been installed, you're going to have to go through the kind of general setup uh, before you can get to the restore option. So just, you know, fill out the time. It doesn't really even matter what information you put in. Just kind of speed through to get to the system so that you can get back to the restore uh, option. So we've got the external hard drive plugged in. We're going to go ahead and back up and restore. Just go to restore PS4. Device should show up. There it is. That shows how much we have to put in. Just go ahead and hit restore. All right. And this shouldn't take nearly as long as the backup procedure took. Again, though, go ahead and do something else while you wait. We are preparing to restore. Oh, this is going a lot faster. And again, we'll have another restart. Right, now we have the backup process going and it looks like, again, three hours. Um, I don't think it will take that long, but um, we'll come back to this once it's finished and uh, we'll show you the backup process. It goes without saying that uh, don't turn off the PS4 and it will automatically restart again once it's done. Okay, we're fully done. Everything has been restored. All the games are where they should be. Profile is where it's at. And to show you the new, um, I guess, storage. Just go to storage and settings, calculation. There you go, 367 gigabytes of 1.77 terabytes. So effectively we quadrupled plus our storage space. So now we can download more apps and install a bunch more games and also all the updates. So yeah, so that is, in a nutshell, installing a new hard drive, backing up, and restoring um, your stuff on the PlayStation 4. Pretty easy. Uh, just time consuming. All in all, it probably took a good 6-7 hours because of backing up and rest restoring. Um, so yeah, just you know, take a day, have things to do, do this. But anyway, that's enough for me. It's nighttime, and I'm out of here.